Thank you, Father. Thank you, glorious God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this word. Thank you, Father, for what you're about to do. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your strength upon us. I pray that, Lord, you revive us. I pray you empower us even this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I am blessed. Hallelujah. We're going to get into the word of God very, very shortly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Mantora Baka Sum Blendeles. Ili Bataba no Shandabahas. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Okay, let's swiftly get into the word of the Lord. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord guide you. And the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. All right. What are we going to be in today? Matthew 25. Let's quickly go there. Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25. I love the word of God. I don't know about you. I said I love the word of God. How many of you understand that? Hallelujah. Oh, you had a, you had a dream. Thank you, Jesus. It, it, it is destroyed by the power and the blood. It's destroyed by the power and the blood. Father, I pray that, Lord, you reveal to us hidden mysteries. I pray that, Lord, you will speak to us in a great and mighty way. Let the fresh anointing rest upon us. Open our eyes. Let us be quickened by the power of your word. Father, I pray that, Lord, that the words that I speak, let it be spirits and let it be life. Let it be a quickening. Let it be an anointing. Let it be a release of the power of the Lord even upon us, Lord, today. I pray that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that our lives will never be the same. Will never be the same after this moment. By the power and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. One of the things that we must understand. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I wrote all these ones. Okay. Uh, look at this, uh, my sister. I was, I was praying for you. I received your your tithe, and um, I left it on the altar. I think you, you wrote a lot of uh, um, prayer requests here. We were praying about it, and I know that the Lord will answer your prayers. You hear me, my sister? It's going to be well. All your battles will subside. God bless you, and thank you for what you're doing for the ministry. All negative dreams shall be raised in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Matthew 25. Matthew chapter 25. Hallelujah. Then shall the kingdom of God be likened. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto the ten virgins. Amen. Why preparing? I didn't prepare much for this word of the Lord. I didn't prepare much. Amen. Hallelujah. I was just doing other things, just praying in the spirit. And I heard that message. You know, sometimes you hear something in the realm of the spirit. You hear the word of the Lord released to you. And you, I said, man, I preach this message. I know I preached it before. You know, let me... I'm looking for a new message. And I left that alone. And my mind just shifted. I was doing all other things. And then I was still praying. And then I looked at the time. I said, my goodness, it's almost time. Where is the word of the Lord? And the Lord said to me, I gave you a word. And you are neglecting it because you preached it before. And I said, oh, what is the word? What is the word? And I totally forgot. I did not write it down. And I was just praying. I said, oh God, you got to bring it back. You got to bring it back. Because there's no way I'm going to go into the... You know, to the to, to your people and without the word of the Lord from God. And then the word of the Lord was dropped again. Suddenly, least I expect. And I thank God that I'm coming to you again and bringing this message. Amen. Hallelujah. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet their bridegroom. Who is the bridegroom? Jesus himself. Which took their lambs with them. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for the word of the Lord. I thank you for your glory. Thank you for what you're about to do. My brother, even, even when this editing is done, please put a message number one and the prayer uh, number two. Hallelujah. Thank you. God give you more grace as you do that. I pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon you, upon your family for the good work you've done so far in the name of Jesus Christ. Greater things are about to be unveiled in your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Bracket that word, ten virgins. Ten virgins. Hallelujah. Now, 
as we go further, they took their lambs. They took their lambs and went forth to meet their bridegroom. Hallelujah. They took their lamp and went forth to meet their bridegroom. Meaning the roadmap, the direction for, the, for your life this very season, amen, is to use the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say the word of God. Hallelujah. Mung rondo robo shila bandelebes. Ilei matala bandole bibi aparadia. Regede parada sombra haya. Father who overshadow your life, overshadow this world, quicken your people today. Let fear be driven out. Let the word of God become sword in the life of your people. Let them be delivered. Let them be set free by the power and the word of God. In the name of Jesus, let there be divine illuminations. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. La de le bebe be a barando rebobo, si bantele bebe a pious. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. E rodo rebobo rebe be a baradi abrandash. Hallelujah. Amen. So we begin to see something that is very, very unique. Hallelujah. And we're particularly talking today about the five virgins. Five virgins that were wise. The five one that was wise. Amen. Hallelujah. Something about the lamp of God. What is the lamp? What is the lamp? When we talk about the lamp, we talk about illumination. When we talk about the lamp, it has a flame which is also be filled with oil to, 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 to spring forth. Hallelujah. It's also a lamp, a torch. And so we, we, when we read uh, Psalm 119, it says something very, very unique. Psalm 119 verse uh, 105. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, a light, a light unto thy path. Thy word is a lamp and it's a light. On, so when this word of the Lord is being released and you focus on the word of the Lord, daily as you read the word of the Lord, thereby you begin to receive clarity. You begin to receive understanding on your call. And the more you focus on your call, the more the Lord Jesus will begin to reveal himself himself in your life. Hallelujah. And so these wise people and even the foolish ones, number one, they were virgins. They were Virgins means they were separate from the world, meaning they were disciplined in the way they lived, meaning they were not entangled with the affairs of this world of this world amen hallelujah it talks about sexual purity it talks about the purity of the heart amen hallelujah daniel said something to himself he says i will not defy myself amen with the deities of the king i will not defy myself hallelujah and the bible says that he stood out god began to reveal through him amen from listen to me he started with let's say four virgins shadrach meshach abednego including himself whatever it is um, but by, as they began to proceed further, Daniel increased in purity. In the, he, was, he became the wise virgin. And the Bible says he was the one that was heard. Others were not even heard. We didn't hear about them anymore. But just Daniel. Hallelujah. In this season, in this season of grace, hallelujah, when we talk about the Nazarites, the Nazarites, John the Baptist, Jesus, Samson, the one thing about it was the doctor but they focused on was purity they had to circumcise their heart they had to let go of what they eat what they what they what they ate what they allowed they didn't touch anything or claim this season i want us to get ourselves ready because for us to be victorious listen to me the power of god is about to rest on some individuals upon this prayer line the power of god is about to be released in such in a great dimension i know it i feel it i know it and i feel it hallelujah um i know what i'm saying to you some of you we have to prepare in fact, in fact, this week, five of them were wise, five were foolish. And they that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them. These foolish ones had no oil. They took their lamp, which is the word of God. And they, they, it was the logos. But the spirit behind the word of God, the oil of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, they did not engage the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. In this season, I want you to begin to intercede. Some of you are so anointed. 
that you don't even know. You you don't engage the oil by praying in tongues. You don't stir up the spirit of God inside of you. You 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 allow that voice to shut that voice down, to shut that anointing down. And many times God begins to speak to you, my son, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, edify yourself, amen, for, for more time. But you don't, you get yourself so discouraged, amen, hallelujah. And you sit on that voice, that negative voice, amen, you move through your day through that negative voice. No, when you begin to pray in the spirit, pray in the spirit, you begin to see that there is a living authority, living God inside of you that begins to emerge. And when people begin to see, they see the God of God, the God inside of you, hallelujah. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamp, the oil of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say the oil of the Holy Ghost. They took oil in them. Hallelujah. What does the oil derive from? Um, it's from, derived from olive. Amen. The oil is for healing. The oil is for anointing of the head. The oil is for you to be singled out among many. Hallelujah. Now one of the most expensive commodities on the earth. Amen. Is crude oil. Crude oil. Hallelujah. Crude oil. When it's found in your place, you become a rich man. Hallelujah. It becomes a rich man. Sometimes they find it in, in Africa. Once it's found in your property, it, it becomes a government property. Here in Texas, amen, in Texas, if it's found in your property, it belongs to you. If it's in Oklahoma, found, I know of a friend who found this oil in their backyard and now he's being prosperous. Amen. Hallelujah. Big business venture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, oil is very very special if you lack oil in your car it can break down if you don't change your oil it will break down where are we heading to in life in this season amen for men to take authority the bible says why the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at midnight there was a cry behold the bridegroom comments go ye to meet him listen to me some and, and the bible says in verse 7 all those virgins arose trimmed their lamp and the foolish and the wise and the foolish said unto the wise give us oil for our lamp is gone out let me tell you something there is a night hour there is a dark season there is a time whereby peter began to sleep disciples began to sleep it's only those who are true oil will stand out only those who have what true oil will be able to engage the enemy this season do not go in your life daily life without oil in your life amen hallelujah prophetically when you look at the number five it means that five had symbolism of grace there was a level of grace that was released upon them hallelujah for you to go this week this weekend we're going to be all of us will be engaging into a, a place of consecration i'm talking about a high level of consecration i'm going to take you through the place of consecration we're going to do some certain prayers on the prayer line amen hallelujah as well as periscope there's going to be a level of deliverance you are going to experience i'm talking about the power of the lord will rest upon you i want us to collectively amen hallelujah go together and the lord is wanting me now to pull away from certain activities amen hallelujah and really consecrate um, not just myself the ministry and bring the bring everyone to a place of consecration it's going to be a high level onward from february onward to the end of the year you're going to see an emancipation you're going to be seeing ministerial testimonies begin to take place in your life you're going to see the glory of god burst forth on every side amen there'll be major at angelic activities not just on the prayer line on periscope and all those who will be watching us there's going to be an activities of angels ministering to you some of your lives your dream life will change totally the voice and the lions of the devil that has been visiting your dream will suddenly come to an end they will suddenly be perished the, i see the vengeance of the sword of the lord going about to visit you with divine authority the glory of god will totally abide like upon you we sit upon you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a glory that is coming from the north there is a glory from the from zion there is a glory that's about to emerge don't let discouragement wave you away don't let discouragement shake you off are you hearing me today god is about to stir up something god is stirring up something he's bringing us to that place of holy 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 hunger holy hunger you thought his son seen the other side of god listen to me God is about to unveil his side of power. God is about to unveil his side in this season. Listen to me. The spirit of prayer will arise upon you. Some of you will fix your eyes on Jesus and you will begin to have total encounters with God. Hallelujah. No man lays his hands amen, on the uh, on, 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 lays his hands on God's assignment and looks back. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Some of you that has been unfruitless in this season, God will write your destiny. You will begin to be fruitful in this very, very season. I speak that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. No more abuse from the devil. No more assault from the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. I tell you, listen to me. You particular sister, there are some things that have been going on in your family. Hallelujah. There's been a struggle when it comes to marital affairs. Amen. The devil has been attacking everyone in the family. Every It looks like marriage has been a struggle for everyone. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like the enemy has tried to 
drink the wine in your family listen to me you have to sit up and you begin to pray so that you don't very you don't begin to lose people that have been sent into the family by the power and the blood of jesus christ while the bridegroom tarried are you a bridegroom are you a bridegroom for the lord are you waiting on something precious hallelujah you must deal with the spirit of slumber hallelujah in this season you must deal with the spirit of slumber there is an alertness from heaven saying son get ready we regroup get ready my the armies of the lord and let us begin to pray let us begin to launch attack amen there is going to be an emancipation a great deliverance in the life of my people there's going to be a release amen says the lord there's going to be a great release great release hallelujah i see the rain of fire the rain of oil upon my upon the people of god hallelujah i decree by the power of the blood every spirit of slumber every spirit of slumber every spirit of slumber that has been assigned to, to wipe away your prayer life there has been assigned to wipe away your visitation today i crush it in the name of jesus christ i crush it in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus by the power in the holy ghost Ele grondo robo bogo zubrondo di bebia rada raba baka ba shale bantele bebia bala badish in the name of Jesus at midnight there was a cry made and behold the brethren comment go ye out to meet him and those are oh my goodness I feel I feel an invitation from heaven I come up higher <laughs> come up higher come up higher come up higher there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom comment, Go ye and meet him. And all those virgins arose and trimmed their garments, their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us oil, and our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered and said, Not so, lest there be not enough for us. But ye go out, rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. And why they went to buy, the bridegroom came. So in other words, the wise one, they bought their oil early. They paid the cost. There is a price for the oil. There is a price for the anointing. My sister, my brother, the place of consecration, the office of consecration. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. Hallelujah. You know where we are heading to. Amen. Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. I read from verse 5. Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it not to bow down his head as a borrower, to spread sackcloth upon ashes? Now let's jump from there. Let's jump. Verse 8. It says, Then shall your light break forth as the morning. And thy health shall spring forth speedily. Thy righteousness shall go before thee. And the glory of the Lord shall be the right guide. The glory of the Lord. 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 Verse 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in drought. Make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. And like a spring of water. Which with water fail not. Some of you, your well is about to break forth. Your well of water is about to break forth. The glory of the Lord is about to rise upon you. Please, as you're hearing this sound, amen, as you're hearing what I'm saying today, this is those who are ready to pay the price. Hallelujah. These are those who are ready to what? To pay the price. Amen. And look at what it says. Verse 6. Why am I sharing this? Because this weekend, Friday, I mean Thursday, Friday, Saturday, is a time and is a moment whereby we need to engage the Lord. In total, some of you will do total liquid fast. Some of you will do absolute. No water, no food. This weekend, let's get into an absolute, absolute, absolute fast i give you one day now today is what wednesday so by thursday which i believe is tomorrow is that a short notice 
I beg of you, get yourself ready. Today is the 7th, so on the 8th, you begin that. I pray for any wizard who is be sent here to hear, hear any information or to carry any information down to the waters. I decree you to be arrested by the power of the blood. And let this information be wiped out from your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the power of the Holy Ghost to rest upon every individual. Amen. Let the strength of the Lord, let the grace of the Lord, let the zeal of the Lord come upon them as they seek your face this week, this weekend, in the name of Jesus Christ. No power will distract you. No power will attack you. No power will hinder you or limit you as you hear the voice of God in this season. Hallelujah. Please, it is the mountaintop. God, hallelujah. Listen to me. He said, is this not a fast I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness? Fasting loses the bands of wickedness. To undo heavy burdens. When there is heavy burdens that is upon you, Amen. Yokes upon you. Bands of wickedness that has been exercised against your life. The dominion and demonic authority over your life. Spirit husbands manifesting against you. Hallelujah. Negative satanic dreams. Doors closing against you. Amen. Loss of appointment. Loss of jobs that is being released against you. Ah, engage the oil. Engage the place of fasting. Hallelujah. Put all the food apart. Put all the you big you are you are visited every night by satanic agents. Visited every night, but you are carried in the spirit into demonic over hallelujah engage the oil engage the oil and as you begin to engage the oil begin to fast circumcise your heart come to that place of consecration amen when you engage yourself you begin to go we begin to cause all those things that was lost in your life to be restored are you hearing me today to arrest satanic robbers to arrest satanic robbers you need to go to a, into your mountain top you need to ascend in the realm of the spirit no matter how you pray you cannot leave the valley until you engage amen fasting amen fasting releases the grace of god the hand of the lord look at what it says in verse 7 is it not the bread is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry hallelujah the bread of life right so the life of god that is inside of you you begin to feed the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to the house when thou seest the naked thou cover him compassion and thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh then shall the light break forth as the morning Amen. You say what? The light shall break forth. What is the light of God? The light is the life of God. Glory to God. The life is the light, and the light is the glory. When it begins to break forth in your life, you see what? As the morning and the hell shall spring forth speedily. When you'll be feeling sick, you'll be feeling attacked in your body. In health wise, God will begin to release your healing. Your health will begin to spring forth speedily. Remember, it didn't say your healing, it says your health. Your healing is different from health. Amen. Your health, meaning your way you eat, your, your standard of life, everything is being organized when you begin to fast. Fast brings discipline, fast brings your flesh into compliance to the word of the lord it brings it to total obedience are you hearing me today when you begin to, if you're let's say you have excess sugar you have all this nonsense operating in your body but by the time you begin to engage fasting whether you call headache whatever it things it, it begins to come into on, on that divine compliance if you are if you are bleeding excessively it will stop and dry up dry out dry out because of what you are fasting your health will begin to spring forth speedily then the word it says righteousness shall go before thee righteousness shall go before thee righteousness shall go before thee the ability to please god your right standing with god comes into divine alignment amen alignment you begin to please god because of your work with him hallelujah and it shall go before thee and the glory of the lord i love this glory the glory of the lord he said man shall not share his glory with another but when you begin to fast the glory that was put inside of you will begin to burst forth people begin to see the glory and they begin to see god inside of you some people are about to tap to the well of salvation some people are about to tap into the healing well of god within your life hallelujah then shall thou call and the lord shall answer and shall cry when you be you become a delightful psalm you begin to you become a favorite with god when you begin to call upon god god begins to answer you speedily there is no more delay is and he says here i am why because you are in a place of consecration if thou take away the from thee, the the, 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 the midst of thee, the yoke, the putting forth of the finger. Amen. Hallelujah. It means that iniquity, judgmental spirit. Some of us, we point fingers too much. Some of us are perfectionists. It's a negative spirit. Hallelujah. When you see people like that, it's a strong spirit of pride. Strong spirit of pride. Strong spirit of pride. You need to get delivered. 
this season walk in the place of humility this season make sure i say lord in the name of jesus whatsoever blocks your oil in my life whatsoever blocks your favor in my life lord take it out some people have been sent into your life listen to me some people have been sent into your life to help you and to point you to the eyes of god but because of this pride you begin to engage into uh, how do you call it emotional um strife with them hallelujah when god when they've been a blessing in your life when you should be fighting the enemy the enemy begins to manipulate you to focus on the relationship that brings blessings with, with you and god amen you begin to fight that very relationship the enemy begins to plant negativity in that relationship so thereby you're distracted by the stress by the strife you're distracted and you're thinking is he saying this to me is he saying this to me and you are getting emotionally wrapped up distracted emotionally offended when you should be complying 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 are you hearing me today that is what saul did saul begin to fight against samuel saul begin to say can you why can't do you have to rebuke me in front of everybody why can't you rebuke me secretly amen With the very man that poured oil upon his head the very man that began to pray upon his destiny that is the same man that samuel began to fight against i pray for you in this season no devil no power will begin to rewrite and begin to replace the divine relationship in your life with strife amen with fighting with violence I, I rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus christ some of you are already experiencing mighty deliverance but that spirit of pride amen can get in the way when it's get in the way that is when you begin to see errors you begin to point fingers begin to point finger moses moses sister that's what happened to her and she was covered with leprosy listen to me if you are a man that is very critical towards your leader something it means that the leader even though they want to pray amen moses tried to pray moses tried to pray and the only prayer that god answered for the sister was mercy 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 but for total deliverance listen to me when a man when you begin to speak about your leader or speak about those who you are under in the ministry wise listen to me it can be very critical that it can bring a place of barrenness or fruitfulness and sometimes until you repent for the words you've said the negative words you've said because every time you say words it feels like you are feeling good on the inside but the spirit of gossip and slander can literally silence the grace of god silence heaven against you silence heaven towards you against your life and you are fighting an unseen enemy you are fighting python spirit you're fighting um, powers from the water leviathan spirit leviathan strong uh, uh, egoistic pride and when that's when this force is in existence towards you oh boy it will take an anointed man of god and when the man of god comes the devil can manipulate you to get offended with that man of god and that is that is your battle that you have always had you need somebody to stand with you in the altar or prayer and and people are so busy fighting with the allies on the altar fighting with the priest on the altar fighting with is that where you should take your fight to is that is that what you should be doing believers you need an answer from god hallelujah you need an answer from god and many of you are engaging in the wrong battle how can you how can a sister the one young sister she has not even started ministry you are going on youtube you are talking about great men of god talking about this one talking about titan talking about this one ah, da, 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 insulting them and look at that it's personalizing this but look at this one you are digging your early grave a man that is influencing thousands of millions of people and you will not sit down and let jezebel sit on you and you now let Jezebel influence you. You go on YouTube, open a page, and start addressing men of God on tithes and giving or excessive living. Is that your place to talk about? Is that your place? And some people are even joining them, spreading their videos. People who are criticizing men of God because they don't have nothing to do. When you could be criticizing voodoo priests, when you could be talking about which 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 is and wizard when you could be exposing the work of the devil you sit down there trying to be talking about men of god who have sacrificed their lives where in the bible did you see david trying to talk about saul and his stupid life he never had to try that i will not touch the lord's anointed he knew because he was about to be exalted himself he knew that if he tried it he too will have to eat what he what he tried he will have to reap what he did some of us are so gullible. We hear such nonsense. People are not anointed. They cannot remove mountains. They are very philosophical. They are so psychological. 
they, they, they are so sick in their mind, they need healing, they are in bondage. And they want to criticize the light of God. And you, you see that there to listen. Nothing. What are they saying? Nothing. God is not even in them. I beg of you that in this day, may you stand in the right place with God. Don't stand in the place of judgment. When you begin to fast, point your eyes unto the Lord. Lord, I see so many, many of them. I said, I said, look at this sister. If I call her now, we lay hands on her. She will begin to manifest. Because there is some spirits that are influencing her. And it's a, it's a spirit that is not of God. Hallelujah. When you begin to extend and draw out your soul to the hungry, you begin to satisfy the afflicted soul. Amen. Through the place of fasting. He said, then shall thy light rise up in obscurity. Your light will rise up in obscurity. Your light will rise up in obscurity. And thy darkness shall be as the new day. Amen. What is that trying to say to us? He said, don't be busy talkers. Don't be busy trying to pull down people. Amen. Looking for one weakness or the other. You are just a talker. Look for how. Amen. To be a performer in the kingdom. Be a performer. Don't be just somebody just looking and whatever it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Be a performer in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Go out and begin to do things. Amen. Let your hands be busy. Let your hand be busy. Let your hand be busy. Hallelujah. Be a solution. Be a solution to many. Hallelujah. Be a solution giver. Hallelujah. Solve issues in the life of people. Solve problems. Say, Lord, as I go out today, make me a solver. Make me a solver. Make me a, anoint me fresh oil to begin to solve issues. Make me a kingdom asset. Everywhere I go, and everywhere I go, make me a kingdom asset. Let me boost the kingdom for you. Let me add fire in any church I go to. Let me be a, a, a vessel unto the kingdom of God. When you begin to do that, you become a weapon in the eyes of God. He that winneth a soul is wise. What do you mean by winning a soul? A soul can be depressed. A soul can be attacked. A soul can be afflicted. A soul can be in sorrow. A soul can be in great pain. But when you begin to win a soul, either through your prayer, when you begin to con converse with them, encourage them, when you begin to cause the joy of the Lord to break forth in their life, when you begin to point them to Jesus, you are winning that soul. You are winning that soul. You are winning that soul. Winning that soul. And as you begin to win that soul, God will begin to add wisdom to you. God will begin to cre credit your life with wisdom, with wisdom, with wisdom, with wisdom. God will begin to fragrance your life with the wisdom of God. Some of you people who are depressed, some of you, you need to answer the phone call and begin to pray for them. Begin to encourage them. Encourage them with a scripture. Encourage them with a verse. Encourage them with a Bible a a word. A word of wisdom and encouragement. When you begin to encourage them, you win their soul. You rescue them from depression. You rescue them, oh God, from, 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 uh, from, uh, um, um, suicide suicide thoughts hallelujah you bring begin to rescue them they are feeling impoverished you begin to send some finances you rescue them from poverty hallelujah then all of a sudden you begin to win their soul win their soul and they are joyful in the lord they're able to praise god and jubilate because while you're doing something you're playing a role in the kingdom of god and definitely when you begin to do that no vessel goes unrewarded you will definitely get the attention of heaven hallelujah amen Hallelujah. I love this in verse 11. The Lord shall guide thee continually. The Lord will guide your family. The Lord will guide your children. Everywhere they go, guide them from wrong relationship. Guide them from wrong people. Guide them from, uh, from demonic robbers. Guide them from the wrong path on the road. Guide them from accidents. The Lord will begin to preserve them. And it says, and satisfy thy soul in drought. Hallelujah. Satisfy thy soul in drought. Your will, your mind, your emotions, everything about you is being satisfied. Hallelujah. So when you get to that place, Amen. You see that even your soul, your will, your mind, your emotion, everything is being satisfied. Why in drop in the place whereby you begin to feel down, in the place where you begin to feel lowly, all of a sudden God will begin to satisfy you. Hallelujah. Amen. In the place of scorched region, parched land, that's what they call. Um, that's what they call drought. Hallelujah. In that place of drought, whereby people are affected, people are being attacked, whereby it seems like nothing will prosper. In that place, God will begin to satisfy your soul. The spirit of truth will abide upon you. God will begin to make fat thy bones. Verse 11. Make fat thy bones. Hallelujah. They're going to begin to make fat thy bones. Why? With the nourishment from God, the grace of God, the empowerment of God, the anointing of the Lord. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. Amen. The grace, the oil of the Lord will begin to manifest. God will begin to place oil upon you. Hallelujah. And a spring of water whose waters fail not ah, i said to you again your well about to be digged again god is about to redig your old wells hallelujah god is about to come cause prosperity to spring forth hallelujah verse 12 and they that be of thee shall build the old 
waste places. Prosperity is about to emerge in some people. I tell you some prosperity. The Bible says, as much as Jehoshaphat sought to see the face of God, sought the Lord, the Lord made him to prosper. Jehoshaphat, as much as the Lord, as he, he Hallelujah. 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 Look at what it says. And they that be of thee shall build the old waste places. And they shall raise up the foundations of many generations. Thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge. 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 Ha, the restorer of parts to dwelling. You will become the Joseph in your family. You will become to repair the old waste places in your family. God will raise you up as such a tremendous voice. Hallelujah. Look at what it says in verse 14. Ah, Lapan. That is the last promise when you engage in fasting with the Lord. Then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord. Delight means the joy of God. You become zealous for God. You become excited for God. Some of us have lost our zeal, but God begin to restore your zeal by the power in the Holy Ghost. May God begin to restore your fire. May God, may God begin to restore your hunger. Hallelujah. And if and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. We need to go back. I remember the times when I was engaging in 40 days fasting. Hallelujah. Soon after the 40 days fasting, every door breaks open. I begin to travel. He would travel to go minister, but it seems like ministry, but it's vacation. In essence, it was vacation. It was just blessings upon blessings upon blessings first class upon first class upon first class you are getting back there for i will cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth hey lord jesus in this month this year 2018 we're going to ride in the high places of the earth by the power in the holy ghost i love evangelistic work i love to move around and preach the gospel hallelujah last year we wanted to do, do that and somehow somehow we faced a little bit of opposition and so we said okay so we're gonna prepare hallelujah delay is not the, the, the denier hallelujah i will cause thee to ride on the high places of the earth there's high places of the earth i want to go and visit lebanon 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 that is the place i want to go visit lebanon hallelujah visit go back to israel and go and visit the land again Hallelujah. I remember when Benihim baptized me in River Jordan. It was beautiful, sweet. Hallelujah. And uh, man, 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 man. They, in, in Israel, their hotels are very beautiful. Amen. Uh, they feed you in the morning, they feed you in the evening. And they heap up food. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. If you've not gone there for vacation, you need to go there. Hallelujah. Amen. Go there with one of these mission groups and your life will never be the same. Amen. In the morning, my goodness, you see the salad bar in Israel. Woo! huge just huge salad bar i mean huge like what are you guys gonna do with this salad this stuff and in the evening they feed you again oh my goodness i don't want to even i don't want to high places of the earth thou sh and i will cause it to ride upon the high places of the earth when you go to dubai oh my god hey balabas hey amen do you have a beautiful Ah, a beautiful pool, a beautiful place. That every 15 minutes, it be, the what the what they call dancing waters. Look at look look that um, check that out on YouTube. Amen. Dancing waters. It begins to sing all kinds of music, Celine Dion, all that stuff. Hallelujah. But it's just shocking how men can really put down together some fascinating beauty. Amen. Hallelujah. And you go to some places, man. You just shake your head. South Africa, Cape Town. My God, 12 ah uh, 12 apostles amen 12 apostles in cape town whereby you are driving there and you are seeing the cloud the cloud and the glory cloud upon the mountain man beautiful beautiful and michael jackson was there and he wanted to buy this he wanted to buy that he wanted to, i mean i mean i mean i mean cape town is beautiful in month of april you see all the whales they have what they call whale festival all the whales around the world they come together in the month of april and they leave all the countries to come and give bath amen hallelujah to come and give bath in that area hallelujah and uh, so we have people there they'll blow whistles uh, and you see all the whales we jump out start dancing i will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of jacob thy father i will feed thee i will feed thee 
for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Listen to me. In this season, in this year, amen, we want to engage in the most fast, amen, that we can. Personally too, many times I always choose not to announce fasting because I feel that your personal work, I love to do the personal one. I I prefer the personal one than announcing it. And then sometimes I, you know, I feel like I need to announce it for people who need to do it. Because some people don't have the strength to do it individually. They love um, um, everybody fasting together and, and, and they love that. Amen. But suddenly the Lord is saying this weekend, seek me. He told the elders. He said, elders, everyone go wash your clothes. Go wash your garments. It talks about purity. It talks about cleansing. Go wash your spiritual robes. Some of you have stained your robes. You have stained your brighter clothes. Go wash it again. It was once white. It's stained with blood. Stained with all kinds of things. Go dip your garments again in the blood. Dip it again in the blood. And as you begin to pray, you're going to see the activities of heaven break forth in your life. Hallelujah. Your life will never be the same again. This year is going to be a crazy year. Some of you are going to be surprised. I'm telling you, crazy year awaits us in this season. Crazy year. But in this prayer line, I'm believing some of you this weekend just going to just fast. If you don't know how to fast, three days, amen, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hallelujah. We're going to have a Saturday night video. Saturday night video, Saturday morning prayer, and also the night video. Hallelujah. And if you cannot, um, 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 if you can't really um, uh, fast, hallelujah, some of you just put liquid, you know, um, you know, get into the liquid fast, your juice and whatever it is, and just stay with that. No, I didn't mean eating just liquid amen hallelujah some of you just go on water absolute water some of you just go on what no water no food and uh, i pray that the grace of god will empower us in this season that as we get into this fasting that the lord's hand will be upon you some of you are so some of us are so distracted some of us we are so when our wife we begin to cook our husband begin to uh, say oh can we go out here and then we give a choice and we say okay fine listen to me it's just Saturday. Sunday, you can rejoice. Amen? Liquid. Put together yourself together. And says, Lord, now, I'm giving you the special grace. Today is what? Th Wednesday. Go and eat your best meal. Go and eat your best meal. Find that goat meat. Find that, oh boy, find that Jesus. What do you call that beef? I'm not used to beef, but amen. <laughs> Flemion. Find that flaming on. Go and eat it. Swordfish. Go and eat. Go and get it. Rainbow trout. All go, and go find it. Sit down and eat well today, so that tomorrow you engage the oil. You engage duck meat, my father. <laughs> engage the oil. Hallelujah. Go and get something precious. I used to love a restaurant that I usually go to, uh, Ocean Air. Beautiful restaurant, man. You get all kind of fishes there powerful fish i'm telling you um what is salmon you got way way <laughs> my sister is laughing way get ready i'm telling you something <laughs> this is eat well eat well satisfied so that when the devil begins to whisper to you about any food you just it's a big a big a big i've heard i've heard i've tasted it already i've tasted it already. taste every food you gotta eat spread that's what i usually do spread the buffet around you eat every food taste everything so by the time you enter into the fasting, the devil will not start bringing to you the best of food. When in this fasting, as you begin on Thursday, get some prophetic books, read some books. Amen. Praise the book of Psalms. If you don't know what to pray, because sometimes write your prayer points, please write your prayer request. Amen. Please write your prayer request shortly before you go on the prayer line. And shortly before you go into the fasting on Thursday, write um all that you want the lord to do for you amen just write it pinpoint it hallelujah write it down amen praise god my sister you got to do that amen hallelujah now as you you write down everything god is asking you to do then you begin to see the hand of the lord coming upon you amen so write it down write down all what you want the lord to do for you sometimes you might not even need to write it down just get a board in your room you know like a board a white board Hallelujah. And use your marker, write down your goals. So every morning you wake up, you will see, okay, this is my goals. This is my vision for today. And uh, this is what I want the Lord to do for me. Hallelujah. You write it down. You begin to pray it every day. Sometimes you read a scripture, right? You read a scripture, you meditate on a particular scripture. And then when you read it, meditate on a particular scripture, what happened? Amen. Hallelujah. 
you pray on a particular scripture and when you see this particular scripture what happens to you by the time you see the scripture you say okay hmm, interesting do scripture you begin to pray and meditate on that scripture right and once you begin to meditate on that scripture um that scripture becomes a rema word for you take that scripture that verse put it on the wall write it down hallelujah every morning you see it you begin to meditate upon it before you know it that scripture becomes part of you hallelujah Amen. Be very, I want you to be very stir up the lion anointing upon you. Some of you have been beaten down, you have been trodden down, you have been oppressed, you have been offended by the devil. The devil has sat upon you, you'll be feeling so tired, lethargic, amen, weary. This season, do something that is very, very different. Amen. Do something that is what? Very, very different. What do you do? Uh, when you look at the time and everything, you say, okay, you know what? I'm going to be very bold. Don't get into so much phone calls. Don't get into so much phone calls that will drain your energy. Don't engage in so much carnal conversations in this season. Because the Lord will satisfy you and bless you in a greater powerful way. Amen? I don't know if how many of you receive that. But gather yourself together. We're going to engage the oil. And so, um, if you're not on YouTube, if you're not on, on WhatsApp, sorry. If you're not on WhatsApp, you can go to our YouTube channel to watch our videos hallelujah but go on on on, on youtube and also on whatsapp and um if you're not part of us go join us on whatsapp so that we'll alert you when we're going to pray some of you you need to partner with us on um, our facebook um and whatsapp sorry our periscope you need to partner with us hallelujah so that as you begin to partner with us amen um every time we come on the air you'll be alerted hallelujah but in this season, it's going to be very, very, it's going to be, the Lord has played in my heart to do some certain things. And God is requiring more of my dedication. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. I mean, I'm really, really excited for what the Lord is doing. He's going to satisfy us. Amen. I want to encourage many of you who have uh, been giving and be sowing into the ministry. Uh, my goodness. God will begin to increase you. God will begin to bless you and multiply the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus. Do not be weary. You're good your good works do not be weary amen because you shall surely reap your reward god will surely bless you some of you um be encouraged don't be offended in your giving don't be offended in any way in any hour when you when that offense enters in there is because there is a greater enemy that is fighting you that you don't you don't even know and to be offended with a preacher is to paralyze the growth of god in your life amen but let God begin to fight for you. Let hand of God and his favor arise upon you in a strong way. Be a giver. Whether it's $10, $15, $20, $100, or even $1 million. It does not matter. As you give to the ministry, amen, um, God will begin to gather your treasures in heaven. Hallelujah. Begin to lay stones in heaven. Hallelujah. And uh, you begin to see the blessings of God. You begin to enjoy the blessings of God in this day. I bless God for you glory be to the living god so every now and then intercede pray for the leader pray for the minister that i myself will not walk in pride i myself will not walk in anger i myself will be kept under grace i myself will walk in total humility i myself will be hungry for the lord hungry for the gospel that god will begin to restore the servant of god give him more word fresh word from the heaven hallelujah god will begin to feed him with the heritage of jacob in jesus name hallelujah and you're blessed today. Hallelujah. Lay your hands upon your head and say, right now, today, I receive fresh oil. Fresh oil to excel. Fresh oil to walk in favor. Fresh oil to stand out. Fresh oil, oh God, over the works of the devil. Lord, release upon me your oil of favor. Your oil of blessing. Your oil to excel in life. And to rule in the midst of my enemies. Put upon me the oil of joy. The oil of glory, the oil, the oil for results. I will be the head and not the tail. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I am a leader. And I decree that from today, I am not a follower. I decree that from today, my God, let your hand be placed upon me richly, richly in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I receive the mantle to excel. Amen. Amen. You say that prayer, I want you to shout it loud, Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to the living God. I bless God for his love and for his presence upon your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. 
I bless God. Amen. Love you guys. I want you to take care, okay? All right? We meet same time tomorrow. God bless you. Hallelujah. They even heard the sound of John the Baptist. They, 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 you must hear the sound of the Spirit. You must hear the voice of Jesus. God saying, Come to me. You must hear Him. Yes. You must hear the sound of heaven drawing you. You must hear the sound of His presence. You've got to get to that place where, where nothing matters but the voice, the sound. You must get there. It must drown out all else in your life. All the cares, yes, all yes. of your other desires, yes. all of your passions, yes. everything else has to has to be brought down to a level where the loudest thing you hear is his voice saying, Come, come, come. Jesus. As you bring forth the sound of heaven, the Lord says, I will begin to fill the atmosphere. And it will be not what you say, it will be who you are. It will be who you are. Jesus. You will no longer wonder what it means not to be able to minister or move because of the weighty presence. You will know my weighty presence, he says. You will know my glory. Jesus. You must ask him to come. You must create an atmosphere for his spirit. You must give him worth. You must value him above your next breath. Ask him to come. You must cry out until the sound of heaven reaches earth. You must cry out until your voices are one with his. You must cry. You must cry. You must cry out for it. ready <laughs> for a mighty visitation you must come we must have you come come spirit of God come with me come go ahead come. Tell, tell me your question Ahead. Come! Come to this place. Come. Come. Do you have a question? Come. Build a house for your glory. Come. 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 Go ahead. Let me know. Yeah, go ahead. Let me know. The Lord has given us the grace to interpret. Hallelujah. Let me know what, what you're seeing in your, dream, you know, your dream. Let me know. Hallelujah. What is it? Glory, 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 glory. The reign of your presence. If you're not fast today, go ahead. You keep saying I don't have interpretation. Where there's interpretation, let me know. Tell me now. Go ahead. Type it to me. Tell me the dream quickly. I said you want to talk to me privately. Hallelujah. We have all day for you. <laughs> Glory to God.
by the grace of God, God has given us the grace to interpret dreams right from the age of 16 years old. Right from the age of 16. This book, go and buy this book. Go and buy this book. This book, go and buy it. Madame Jean Goyon. Very powerful book. Yeah. Go get this book. I'm waiting for you to share your dream. It's like you're holding back. Hallelujah. Man, the mysteries in this book is, my goodness, it's like fresh oil. Oh, boy. That's, uh, I know you like that. That's Rick Pino. I will share the link. I will share it. You dreamt of a child being bullied. Okay. Do you have a child? The question is, do you have a child? Okay, you don't have a child. Many times when you see such dreams like that. Hmm? Huh? Many times when you see such dreams like that. Pray heavy. You dreamt of children fighting. Maybe God is assigning you to um, to children's department. Which church you go to? Do you serve at the church? If you serve at the church, maybe God, if you be having dreams about kids, maybe the Lord wants you to serve in the house of God. I was by a bystander. Okay, you serve in the house of God. All right. What do you do in the church? Okay, save us an usher. All right. Okay. But you are a seer. Oh, okay. All right. Well, begin to pray for unity hmm? among among the youths in your church. Hallelujah. Pray for unity among the youth in your church. And also, too, if you see just a child being tortured, okay, you know, sometimes you need to also pray, too, about your life. Sometimes the Lord will begin to show us somebody else, and it might be is who we are. It's, it's, it's a reflection of who we are, what we are going through. Hallelujah! That is every spirit that has been released to torture, torture you, be arrested and bind your spirit. Hallelujah! Glory to God. It is well. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Committed to release. Let the grace of God be a performance in your life. Let the Lord's hand be upon you. Let it sit upon you. Oh, okay. So the person relates to your work. I saw people fighting at work and I was watching. Praise God. Praise God. Well, if you want more counseling, there is my number. Hallelujah. 612-701. Let me tell you something. When you see strangers fighting your dream and you don't know who they are, sometimes those strangers are demons. 
I noticed that myself. When you see strangers trying to rob you, those are demons too. Amen. Hallelujah. 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. Hey, how can I help you? You calling for what? Prayer. Prayer, okay. All right, give me some time. I'll definitely call you back. All right, we'll see you on air. All right. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless everyone today for dialing in. People calls are already coming in already. May the Lord strengthen you. I pray for you right now that an angel will be released over your household right now. Let the messenger of from hell, let the messenger from witchcraft, let the messenger assigned to your family be arrested now. Every personal messenger assigned to afflict you, today I bind that messenger right now. I decree by the power of the blood. Remember this, if Jesus anointed as he is, if the devil, if, he, if the devil was attracted to Jesus, and Jesus had to rebuke him for, for Satan to leave him alone. Who are you? Who are you? Some of you are not able to discern the friends in your life. If you check the circle of friends in your life, you realize that many of them carry an assignment from the devil. An assignment from the devil. There are some friends that are Peters in your life. There are some friends that are pillars in your life. There are some friends that are John the Beloved in your life who just love you for who you are. But there are some friends that are Judas who have been sent to, to break you to demote you, to destroy you, to betray you, to hurt you. Now, those friends are the ones that you need to commit to the hands of God, that God, in the name of Jesus, let the assignment and their plan and their purposes sent against me be destroyed and be abolished. Hallelujah. Be very clever when you pray this prayer. Be very clever when you pray this prayer because the devil is doing everything it, it, it can. Hallelujah. To disrupt, to destroy the activities of hell. Hallelujah. Amen. Because by one negative friend brings years of delay against you, brings an amount of delay. There is no negative friend you come across that will not bring delay. All of them are be sent to bring you, to bring distraction in your life. The more you are focused on the gospel, the more the enemy releases negative friends. You might not even know that you are a negative, you, are, you carry negativity in you. You might not even know that you are a carrier, amen, of something instead of you. I beg of you in this season, you must you must understand what is about to take place in your life. The devil will do everything, everything at his best. So the prayer you're going to pray, remove every wrong friends from my life. Protect me from their negative voices. Protect me from, being from, from succumbing to negative voices. The devil spoke to Jesus several times, several times. And Jesus says, get the hands from me. For of us, Satan, depart from me in the name of Jesus. I decree over the life of your people, let every voice of the devil that is ministering to their children, ministering to their husband, ministering to their wife, ministering to their family, I command that voice, evil voice of the devil, to be silenced and depart from them now by the power in the Holy Ghost. I separate them from every satanic voice in the name of Jesus Christ. I separate them from that negative voice. I decree that as you go forth today, let the favor of God be upon you. Let the blessings of God be upon you. Let the anointing of God be upon you. I abolish and I destroy every satanic law, every satanic spell that was placed over you. I cancel it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, it's amazing me now that many I'm getting many people from New York that dialing in for prayers. That's beautiful. Many people from New York joining us on the prayer line. Wow. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's beautiful. Amen. Welcome. Get committed. Hallelujah. Very soon we'll come again for a conference in New York. And we're going to be bringing a speaker this time. Hallelujah. Well, bless God. Let me agree with you. Hallelujah. May God's grace be upon you. You're you from Australia. Father, release your favor. Release your grace. Release your protection upon the life of your people. Even the life of your daughter. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I come against demonic powers, demonic entities. In the name of Jesus, let their dream life begin to change for good. In Jesus' name, what has been a lack, let there be a provision. Father, I pray, provide them good jobs, good jobs, good jobs, good jobs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Love you guys. Moi, be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. I have to go.